welcome, my friends. This is going to be a little segment on Pixaroma gingerbread houses. And of course, this is my card art. Hi, <laughs> glad you could join us. So watch this. You can create all of these projects very, very easily. Look how cute these are. These are little gingerbread houses that you can layer yourselves. And it's from an artist called Pixaroma, who's a graphic designer and a digital artist. It's called Gingerbread House Spread Layers Glow Forge and Laser Cut. And they are on Instagram. And these are SVG files, so you're able to go ahead and download the project, and you're able to go ahead and cut them out and make all kinds of 3D, 4D, whatever, whatever D you want projects. But, of course, I'm going to show you another way you can use this. I have printed these little gingerbread houses out just on regular, normal paper, copy paper, not cardstock. And I'm going to go ahead and color them in. I'm using different kinds of uh, pens. And as you can see, I'm even adding a few little details of my own. The area that I'm tracing right there and some of the other ones that are already on the diagram, you can cut those out and, of course, layer your project. But I'm going to show you another way how you can do this. Look how beautiful these designs are. So right now, I'm just taking a felt-tip marker, colored marker, and going through these beautiful designs. See how easy this is? That's a nice little door. Imagine cutting that out and making this like a, a project in front of a candlelight. Uh, you can create all kinds of little window cards and shaker cards. Just absolutely beautiful design. So here I am taking these, uh, these little houses and you will see the one here on the right, right there. I cut off that edge and I will, I will show you and I will tell you why. I'm just coloring them in right now. Very, very easy to do. It's, uh, it's like a little brush that I'm using. Uh, some people use it for makeup. Uh, I'm using it for artistic purposes, as you can see. And I'm coloring in the rooftop and different parts of the houses with the different colors. So this is a stamp pad and it's called Kaleida Color. This is hard for me to say and I hope I didn't mess it up. But anyhow, it comes with a variety of uh, special uh, colors within one stamp pad and you can separate them or you can press them together. I, I like it because it's a very easy way of coloring something. So anyways, here I am just using uh, different colors for these little houses because I'm going to create something very, very unique here. And remember what I said? This is regular copy paper. I'm using a little water and I'm using watercolor. The secret here is to use very little water. You can watercolor just about any paper as long as you do not saturate it with a lot of water. And I have a very clever little hint for you. You might already know if you're a professional artist, but just in case if you don't, if you would like your paper not to uh, bubble up or come out in a curly way, not only that you need to use a little water, but flip over your project and add a little water on the back side. See, just like that, watch. I'm adding very little water. And for some reason, this will do something to the paper. See, and I'm pressing it down to pick up all the extra water and it'll make it straight when it dries. So you will not have that curling effect. All I'm doing is going with a little bit of purple around the edges, but look at this cute little gingerbread house. So now I'm going to uh, put them on my regular cardstock that I will be creating a scenery on. And remember, this is from Pixaroma. So if you guys would like to have this uh, gingerbread house collection, you can go ahead and uh, go on Instagram. And I believe they're on Facebook as well. And you can go ahead and uh, download this. Um, it is for purchase. It's not for free. But believe me, you can have so many uses out of it. It's amazing. Oh, and those little lights on the left-hand side, you see them? Those are from Lawn Fawn. I love Lawn Fawn, too. I, you know, I love so many artists out there that create just wonderful ways we can do things. There are so many creators and small businesses, so it's nice to support them. So please check out the small businesses and don't forget to get some things from them because that's how we crafters can create. So check this out, you guys. This is my very first gnome that I'm drawing. So all it is, uh, it's, a, it's a little bit of a hat that you draw and a little circle for the nose and a beard. Look how easy it is to draw these. That's 
the body and I'm drawing the legs and I'm so sorry my camera was off and my paper was off and my hands are off but I promise you get to see the little legs on this little guy very very shortly as soon as I move my paper when I get into my artistic mode uh, sometimes I don't pay attention to where the camera angle is and I just start creating and then when I check it's like oops <laughs> I missed part of this <laughs> anyhow you're gonna see his legs very shortly you can see I'm making his little arms and I'm adding a few little ripples for his clothing. Look how easy this is. You guys can do this. And I'm just adding some designs to his little hat. See, just like that. And those cute little houses will look adorable at the end of the project. Okay, so there is the ground. And I decided, oh, he looks so lonely by himself. Let me put a girl next to him. You know, girl power. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm drawing another little hat, kind of girly. I think it's girly. And it just has a little bit of a, of a tail on that one. And there's the nose. See how easy this is? You guys can totally do this. And I'm trying to figure out where the hair is going to go and how the hair is going to go because obviously, you know, she's not going to have a beard. So I decided to make the hair look like that, kind of like, you know, little pigtails. Is that what they're called? I think they're called pigtails when you have uh, your little hairs on both sides. If I got it wrong, just message me. Let me know. <laughs> Write me a comment. <laughs> Those are her little shoes. And I'm figuring out her hand because I, I decided I'm going to put something really cute in her hand. And uh, I'm going to give it away and let you guys know I won't keep you in suspense, but I'm going to put one of those little light bulbs in the little gnome's hand. So I'm just drawing a little design on the hat and I wanted to really have you see what I did here to show you how easy this is to draw. No matter what age group you're in, I think you guys can totally do this at home. You know, some of you might have a stamp, some of you might have, you know, pictures you can download or, or graphics you guys can create on the computer. So many of you artists out there are so talented. I just love to watch what you guys create. So I'm going to be drawing between those two little houses, little gingerbread houses, uh, a little uh, mushroom. And you know how sometimes us artists decide on something and then go, hmm, I don't want to do that. I don't like it. <laughs> well, that's what happens to me because at the end, that is going to be actually a bird feeder. And I'm going to zoom in towards the end and I will show you how I created the bird feeder. So at this point, as I'm drawing this, I'm just thinking of a mushroom. But I just didn't like it. So I was doodling with it. And this is another way I'm showing you how you can create something. And if you don't like it, you can actually change it up. I'm just drawing some trees and a few little rocks and pebbles because this is going to be a little village. So I'm making these little gingerbread homes. Instead of 3D projects, I'm going to make them a one layer project that you can put on a card or here I'm actually designing a full picture. And remember guys, my ideas are concept ideas, so you can totally create your own, add things to it. The whole idea is to inspire you. And as you know, one day I'm hoping that my card art will become your card art. And you guys get to play with your projects and have a lot of fun with it. I mix a lot of different uh, artistic ideas together. And as you can see, I use everything from stamp pads to markers, watercolor, and then so much more. Look! Look how cute, there's that little light, and that little light is from Lawn Fawn. They have wonderful little designs that you can, you can get from them. So I decided to use uh, green clothing on him, you know, because gnomes wear green clothing. Like, I would know that, right? I have no idea. <laughs> I know nothing about that. <laughs> and I'm making a little poinsettia setting right there. And I'm going to be using this Perlin pen for the silver part. And so I'm applying the silver liquid. And I'm going to be using Rockler silicone glue applicator, which I'm not applying glue to. Well, not technically. It is kind of gluey, but I'm using it as a paintbrush. And what's cool about this is the uh, glue or here <laughs> this paint gluey paint does not stick to it so once it's dried up you just peel it right off and i decided to instead of using it uh to apply glue i'm applying this gluey paint if you will and of course since this is a little gnome town uh the poinsettia 
looks a little different, which was my design. But of course, you can make your own design. See, and I had a lot more of that silver uh, liquid, so I'm using it on the little hats of the gnomes. And here I'm just going to uh, put a little bit of the watercolor on and showing you how I'm making the leaves stand out and coloring another mushroom. Of course, I like mushrooms. <laughs> so here it is, and I'm, I'm kind of speeding up the video, and uh, it shows you how I'm creating a little town and creating that effect of of uh, how you know you have a higher ground on low ground and here is my little sign for the gnome homes so instead of the gingerbread houses i'm calling them gnome homes <laughs> and again this was just my idea because i really like those little um, gingerbread houses and i figured hey i can make a little village out of this and i'm adding more mushrooms of course why shouldn't i right and the ground and I decided, well, the gnomes have to have a bench to sit on. So I'm drawing a little bench. And since it's on a higher ground, I'm going to create the illusion that the bench is almost sitting next to a cliff there. A small cliff, of course. We would not want those little gnomes to fall off, would we? I'm creating little steps. And this is very easy drawing. It's just lines and angles. That's all. I mean, this is, this is very simple. So this is a concept idea how you guys how you guys can go ahead and uh, and use these little houses or draw your own little gnomes and create what you like. So I'm showing you a little bit more of a detail here and how I added a lot of extras like the little lamp posts. I didn't want to bore you with all these drawings, but I wanted you to really see just the ideas what I did. And there, there's my little heart I added and little lights, you know, decorating the little town. And I added birds on that tree and uh, a little snowman and more mushrooms and just the ground and back to little gnome homes with lights. I thought this was something that, that would be a really cute idea. And of course I have a little deer right there, as you can see. And a little dog and a poinsettia and a little dog house. So I did my little detail here just to show and, and have a little fun with it. I had a lot of fun making this actually. See my little bird feeder? I changed my mushroom into a bird feeder. <laughs> so if you guys happen to goof like I did, you could change your art up. Don't ever be afraid. It's your art. Have fun with it. You know, no mistakes. It's just your fun stuff. <laughs> and I added some lights to uh, that little house. And like I said, the deer and the little doggy with the dog house. So basically, this is it. This is my little art that I did, having a lot of fun with the Pixaroma gingerbread houses. And of course, the lawn fawn lights and just so many different things I used. You guys, thank you so much for being here. I have some photos for you guys. I really appreciate your wonderful comments and I work a lot of hours, so bear with me, but I will get back to all of your comments. God bless you all and have a very Merry Christmas. Thank you for joining me and please finish to the end. Bye.